Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today we're back in the One Year Bible Plan um, with Exodus chapter 13 and the story of Moses finally getting to lead the Israelite people out of slavery in Egypt and towards the Promised Land. But as we find out, it's not that straightforward because they uh, are led by the Lord down to Pihahiroth on the edge of the Red Sea, which seems to be a bit of a cul-de-sac, a dead end. And Pharaoh, watching from his vantage point, sees that they seem to be wandering aimlessly around in the wilderness. And so he has a change of mind, a change of heart. He thinks, hang on, I've lost my free labor force here, my slaves. And so he saddles up his war horse and his chariots and his charioteers all bundled down to go and recapture and re-enslave the Israelites. What's interesting, though, is the response of the Israelites. Despite the fact that they've seen God come through for them again and again and again, the ten miraculous um, plagues that he's visited on Egypt in order to save them, instantly they're transported back into a mindset of, of fear, into the mindset of Egypt. And they say to Moses in verses 11 and 12 of chapter 13 of Exodus, what have you done to us? Didn't we tell you this would happen back in Egypt? Didn't we say to you it's better to be slaves in Egypt than to be corpses in the wilderness? Which is fascinating, isn't it? Because all we see there is that the Israelites have become convinced that there are only two options available to them. That they can either remain as slaves in Egypt, um, in oppression and a place of constriction, in sinful imprisonment, or they die in the wilderness, they're slaughtered, they become corpses lying in the desert. That's, that's it, that's the two options they see available. And fear uh, has constricted their vision. And that's what the devil's convicted them of, that there are two options. It's a fool's choice. You know, it's a better the devil you know than the devil you don't sort of scenario. What the Israelites have forgotten is that God is an endlessly creative and imaginative um, God. The same God who was at work in creation to bring solid ground out of meaningless, watery chaos, here again parts the watery chaos of the Red Sea and provides a dry ground path straight through towards the Promised Land. And they take that. You see, God is an expert at making a way where there was no way, as Martin Luther King used to say. Um, God is an expert at finding a third way, a creative option. And so this week the challenge is to be thinking, are there any areas in my life where the devil is has keeping me imprisoned, is keeping me enslaved because he's convinced me that uh, there's only a fool's choice, there's only one way or death, you know, only his way or to become a corpse in the wilderness. And so we remain in this state of slavery in this area of our life. Perhaps this week God wants you to explore with him the creative option, the third way, the miraculous pathway through to his promised land. Walk that way with him this week.